so now that we have taken a look at the mission and vision, and I want to reiterate, uh, any pastor, teacher, uh, this should not be our own. This is something that we find in the Bible. It is God's church, God's people, God's ministry. And the only thing that I can do is to look into the Bible and to uh, bring that to the people, live it myself, and help others uh, do the same. But as we are moving toward the vision of being a people of God, walking in righteousness, uh, it's not about buildings, it's not about you know making this big nonprofit organization, uh, it is about being the people of God, walking in righteousness. Uh, I know I reiterate that on purpose because I get people, like I said all the time, that, that talk to me about uh, church building. I'll, I'll start coming when there's a church building. I want to say, well, what if there's never a church building? That is not the goal. The goal is to be the people of God. Now, as we do all this, we want to stay within uh, parameters. There's core values, the things that govern, govern who we are as we move along life's way. And in some sense, Jesus told us that uh, we can summarize it by saying, we're about loving God and loving neighbor. And yes, that's certainly true. But uh, in biblical teaching, uh, that's just shorthand for, um, for a further explanation of the big two, we'll call it the big 10, also known as the 10 commandments. You can look at that in Exodus chapter 20. So that's another way to think about our core values. So let me explain those just pretty quickly. Number one, we're going to keep God above all else. We're not going to have any other gods, just the one God, Yahweh. Number two, we're not going to have any idols, whether that be uh, our career, our spouse, our, our kids, soccer games, uh, whatever it might be that could take first place in our lives in any practical manner, we're going to replace that with God. We're going to make the kingdom of God our primary concern. Next, we're going to uh, never use the Lord's name in vain. Now, I'll teach on that over time. It's a little bit more complicated than uh, saying something like GD or, or whatever it is, right? It's not just a verbal thing. It's also a life thing. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to honor the Sabbath and keep it holy. Any theologian worth their weight knows that the Sabbath, and I'm not a Seventh-day Ad Adventist, this is a non-denominational church, but if you look closely at the text, the New Testament does not replace a Seventh-day Sabbath with a first-day Sabbath. That was something that happened structurally within the, um, let's just say, early church father movement. We're not after tradition here. We're after Bible here, and we want to do things right. So we're going to honor the Sabbath, keep it holy. We're not going to buy or sell on the Sabbath, and we're going to come together in holy convocation, a holy assembly, and worship God. It's a meeting time with God. Think of it like a date night. I mean, imagine just having a weekly date night with your, your spouse or uh, uh, even your boyfriend or girlfriend who you're courting, right? I mean, these are special times and God invites us to that. It is not drudgery. It is should be awesome and happy and, and uh, vibrant and life-giving. And that's what we want our Shabbats to be. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to honor our mother and father. Uh, our mother, mothers and fathers really are to be image bearers of our God and uh, to teach the instruction of God to their children. Now, I know that some of you haven't had that in your lives, and uh, uh, there's still a positional authority that we can still honor, but I'll, I'll teach through all those things, but we're going to honor our father and our mother. And we're going to be good fathers and mothers and not exasperate our children. Next, we're going to not murder, even in our heart. Uh, Jesus talks about this in the Sermon on the Mount. We're not going to commit adultery in any way, whether actual or with our eyes or whatever it might be. We're going to keep ourselves pure sexually. Uh, we're not going to steal. We're not going to bear false witness. And we're certainly not going to covet. Now, if you've been around the Bible, you know that I just basically went over the Ten Commandments with you. It's because I don't make up our core values nor do I make up our mission or our vision or strategy, and I'll cover that uh, at another time. But everything that we do is designed to help us love God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength, that we might actually be a benefit to the world, that we might go into Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, to the ends of the earth. That's Acts 1.8 if you want to look it up. But the idea here is as we are actually the people of God, then people will be attracted to God. I'll see you over in the next video.